Let's have a look at how you would solve this simple question in Python. We're going to ask the user to enter their mark. Above 60 is a pass, below is a fail. Well, we need to use an if statement to do this. It's one of our two types of selection along with a switch statement, and we use it for simple decisions. Here we're deciding if a mark should be pass or a fail. So we need to get the mark from the user. It can be either an integer or a float here. So we write if, we then follow it with a condition. What are we checking for? First of all, we're checking to see if the mark is above 60. Now it doesn't say we are including 60 as a pass, it says above. So it should be a greater than sign, not a greater than or equal to sign. The end of a colon, then Python will automatically indent the code inside it. If you're writing on paper, you've got to do that yourself. And here it doesn't really say too much about what to do, but let's just print this is a pass. Now we could do something like if mark is less than 59, print fail, but that's not very clever because if statements also come with an else part to them. Don't have to use it, but else covers any other possibility. So else runs if all the previous conditions were false. If this was true, else won't run. So if that was false, therefore they failed, therefore we can print fail. You can only ever have one if and one else as part of this structure, but I can add more conditions using elif. So maybe below 40 is a fail, and let's say anything else is a near pass. So I want to add in an elif between these, short for else if. Well, what's my condition here? Well, below 40 is a fail, so therefore 40 itself is valid. So if the mark is greater than or equal to 40, we're going to print near pass. Now we can test this. Let's say I got 65. Well, what would I hope to see? I'd hope to see pass only. And if I run it and type 65, we do indeed get pass only. So that's really important to understand. We don't get near pass as well, despite 65 being bigger than or equal to 40. We don't get near pass too because elifs only run if previous conditions were false. Because that was true, it skips the rest of this if statement.